everyone, Aronian here, the winner of today's uh, really important game against uh, Nodjerbek Abdusatorov. Congratulations, Levon. We were talking about it with Yasser all the way now, and we thought that actually it was really the game without any mistake, like really the one which just you crushed actually your opponent. Are you happy with yeah, the result? Yeah, of course. I'm very happy, but uh, to say that there were not many mistakes, I mean, there were many mistakes Still? on my on my opponent's part. Ah, uh, yes, that's... Yeah. Yes. I but mean, from your side, this, that's ah, what I meant. From, the, from side, your side, uh, yes. <laughs> I think it was fairly easy, so I mean, it didn't require much effort. So, what happened in the game and wh where do you think things went wrong for uh, Nodjerbek? So, um, it was the Sicilian dragon. Mm -hmm. rare, the, the rare guest n nowadays, that's yes. what the author said, even though he was happy to see it on the board. Yes, it's an interesting opening and generally I think it's a good idea to play some openings that people forgot. <laughs> <laughs> what about you? Have you remembered anything? <laughs> well, I played Dragon till I turned uh, 16, so from 9 to 16, so I knew quite a few lines, but I thought, you know, this G4 is not very popular, but mm -hmm. it's kind of tricky. Yes. Yeah. And uh, I'm not sure that uh, my opponent... Uh, was aware of this move. Uh, so what about H5? What, I mean, we were a bit surprised and thought that uh, this move is very, very responsible in a way. Yeah, I, what I was thinking that if he really wanted to play with H5, he could wait because I'm going to play H4 anyway. And then he might get what he wants with mm -hmm. H5 and Knight E8. It would make more sense if, uh, if he would play something like Bishop D7, I guess. Mm -hmm. But I think the main line is Bishop E6. I've played like this with black and I've lost <laughs> badly, as I remember. <laughs> but uh, it's, not an, uh, it's not an easy line. I think black has to be very cautious and uh, has to play precisely to equalize. Yeah. And after h5, g5... You played um, it actually so quickly, we were s still checking other opportunities or uh, you knew everything at this moment. No, no, I didn't know everything. But I know that there is a line where black doesn't castle early on. Mm -hmm. And he's kind of waiting, for example, here, sometimes I've played like this myself, uh, you know, something like this. And you're kind of waiting for G4 then to play Knight H7, mm -hmm. uh, Knight F8, Knight E6. It's not a good line. I've lost that game. <laughs> also, <laughs> <laughs> now I yeah. know why you gave up playing. <laughs> <laughs> so, but here I thought, you know, g5 mm -hmm. looks natural, I'm gain, gaining space, and dragon is not really about mating your opponent, mm -hmm. but more about uh, getting the central squares, and this move, you know, is uh, really good contributing to that, yeah. because if black goes 97, long castle, uh, 95, just bishop e2, it's not clear where all this is going, because knight a5 is easily met by b3, mm -hmm. and then f4 is coming, and... Um, it's rather unpleasant mm -hmm. for black, you know. Uh, he just lost too much time just to provoke b3, but b3 is not such a big deal. Yeah. Uh, so he went knight e8, castle, and queen, e queen a5. Yeah, here, of course, I thought for some time, I, I saw that this end game is slightly better for me, but uh, of course I could play something more ambitious, something like king b1. But then I thought to myself... But uh, can, can he take on g5 now after knight g4? Yeah, I, I saw that. Estimate it. But, but mm -hmm. I thought it might be very dangerous for black uh -huh. because of bishop c4. I see. You know, this rook g1 might come. Mm -hmm. uh, this might be not easy for black to play. Okay. Mm -hmm. But I just thought, you know, why should I avoid some endgame? You know, <laughs> it's, a, it's an easy play for me. Well, Yasser also thought that maybe you wanted to exchange this good bishop and then he might not feel comfortable playing without it. <laughs> no, honestly, uh, Noderberg is such a creative player that I thought that he just wants to play queen d8. I thought that uh, <laughs> then, then to play with bishop e6. Uh -huh. I really, bishop c3 really surprised me because mm -hmm. it's not uh, in his style to play passively. Uh, and here I, I thought that his main point is to play knight d4, bishop g2, and b6, taking into um, account that knight c4 is not good at this moment because of bishop e6. I mean, um, yeah, black I think manages to create some counterplay, kind of so therefore I have to exchange the knights, and 
it's a tiny bit better for me, but I thought that this is what uh, he wanted to play. You know, just to kind of solidly shuffle the pieces, maybe put the bishop on b7, b5, a6, and then um, it's kind of solid because yeah. it's not so easy for me to break through. Mm -hmm. Obviously, white is slightly better. Obviously, it's very easy mm -hmm. for white to play, but uh, it's not the end of the world. Mm -hmm. And uh, yeah, f6 was, uh, of course, a big mistake. I what I think happened that Nutterback um, forgot that I can play bishop h6 or he simply underestimated uh, that he has too many weaknesses he is not in time to bring his bishop to f7 yes he was suggesting maybe first to take on a5 and then to play f6 or something like that uh -huh. uh, let's say to keep a uh, c file for counterplay later on for the rook. oh like this yes like he he was not pleased with the idea to have this pawn structure he wanted to uh, keep the i am generally mm -hmm. very skeptical about f6 yeah, uh, okay at all i think it I don't know. I think it's uh, strategically wrong mm -hmm. because this g6 pawn is not being compensated. I mean, I'll just play bishop e2 and yeah. this knight, in order for this knight to come into play and uh, kind of uh, target the f3 pawn, I mean, it's too many moves. Yeah. And then I'll slowly play f4. No, I think that's a wrong idea. Okay. Yes, so it was better just to keep. <laughs> yeah, knight d4. I see. And later on, it seems like... Uh, oh, you oh, yeah, the position is G6 horrendously <laughs> bad, yeah. Pawn was fallen, and uh, actually all his pieces uh, were at the last rank. We noticed that everybody <laughs> came back. Yeah, and here, I mean, I had so many nice options. I could even play if I wanted to A4. Mm -hmm. Because uh, this this bishop E2 is not really a threat. I, I, I saw this. I just take mm -hmm. and take rook D2 and then rook G2. And rook f2 if you yeah but mm -hmm. then i just thought uh, okay you know i'll just double and uh yeah just take it Th there was a little trap at this moment actually it was kind of cute we were sure about it <laughs> yes <laughs> you have some tricks here no because i saw that yes. it feels like bishop h6 yes. is mating mm -hmm. uh, with, mm -hmm. but it's not actually because there's knight f6 it's very beautiful um, yes. and e6 and he's defending, yes. Yeah. Wow, so you cannot, yes, he takes on the five. And rookie five is there. <laughs> <laughs> Otherwise, of course, bishop h6 looks like an immediately crushing move, but. And yeah. there was no other consequences, yes, like something. I, I calculated, wow. but I didn't find it here, yes, actually. Yes. Mm -hmm. Like after you said bishop b6, knight five, any, any checks? And knight here? f6. Na I mean, knight f6, yes. There is nothing, yes, like rook just seven. No, there is nothing. <laughs> We calculated also bishop g8 at a certain point when the bishop was still on c8. Ah, yeah, yeah. Yes, at one point, but again, it was not so clear. Yeah. Uh, yes, we we we, we, so we spotted the idea, but no, I also kind of thought that maybe e5 will make a difference here, but because uh, <laughs> it might. Uh, yes, I understand. No rook e5 <laughs> anymore. Yes. But then king h6 or rook e6 as well. So then I thought, okay, now yeah. why have like is defending? Why why do I need to do that? Yeah. And yeah, I think the rest of the game is fairly easy because yeah, I play rook g5, f4, and and uh, yeah, after a4, yeah, it's just hopeless. Yes, the position was really bad after that. Um, like like a conclusion, what do you think happened to, to Nodirbek? Was it just let's say the opening uh, choice with or? Um, I I think uh, you know maybe his. Uh, strategical plan for the game mm -hmm. uh, didn't work so um, I played uh, some bad games in Dragon but mostly in Rapid and sometimes people f you know mix up the the Rapid and uh, the Classical mm -hmm. and those are big differences certain openings are very good for short time controls but uh, in Classical you have to know the Dragon very very well <laughs> in order to play it it's a difficult uh, opening to master yeah but now actually two and a half points out of three okay we still have some games but you are at the moment you are the leader <laughs> how do you feel oh i feel great uh, yeah. you know i'm very happy here um i was really looking forward to this tournament so so far it's yeah i'm enjoying myself a lot yeah and the, I also have one secret, so I'm watching those extremely depressive series. <laughs> Which one? Uh, it, it's German series from uh, 
79, uh, Berlin Alexander Platz. And uh, they're so depressing. <laughs> when I come to the game, yeah, I'm just super happy. So <laughs> that it's over yeah, that you don't need to watch. <laughs> <laughs> so you take a break from the series right now, yes? <laughs> yeah, well, they're long. They're like one hour each episode, and there are 14 episodes. But uh, so it's kind of a, a descent <laughs> to, to hell uh, in, in the 20s. So And uh, so whenever I come to the game, you know, everything is so wonderful, and we're not in 20s anymore. Yes, and we are in the beautiful hotel, Hayat, everything is perfect. Oh, Technology. actually, I, I made a mistake. We are in 20s. But in yes. good twenties, exactly. Yes. Yeah, so I cannot take more time from your, you know, series. So <laughs> <laughs> obviously you are running now to your room. Thank you so much, Levon. Uh, Thank you. All the best in the next games and enjoy the moment, and have a good games. Thank you. Very Thank much. you.